Mr. Yashwan Sinha was a very competent finance minister. He understood the nuts and bolts of budget making, but he was not lucky. The two worst growth rates were in this period. Two out of four years when he was finance minister, we had uh, sub 5% growth rates, which is why I believe there was a switch between him and Mr. Jaswan Singh. He went to South Block as external affairs minister, and Mr. Jaswan Singh came as finance minister. And Mr. Jaswan Singh has confessed to many, including to me, I know nothing about finance. Why are they bringing me here? But he was a lucky man, because that last year, because the previous year we had low growth, that last year got a big bump, a big boost. But I must say, in that five-year period, three things were clearly very, very reform-oriented measures. One was the push which Prime Minister Vajpayee gave to the Golden Quadrilateral, the National Highway Building Program. Much of it was built later, but the push was given by Mr. Vajpayee. The money was provided by Mr. Yashwan Sana, and the phrase Golden Quadrilateral stuck in the people's imagination. There was great excitement that Delhi, Mumbai, Chennai and Kolkata would be connected by a world-class highway. The second thing that the NDA did, which clearly qualifies as great reform, because I've seen the benefit of it uh, in rural India, is the Pradhan Mantri Gram Sadak Yojana. I believe it was Mr. Yashwan Sana's idea, and I compliment him on pushing that program. For example, in my district, in my constituency, practically every village today, every hamlet today has a metal road. I think there are small patches still left out. But I think that was a great beginning. I don't know how well it is implemented in some of the less advanced states. But in Tamil Nadu, I think we did very well. The third thing is, Disinvestment in Mr. Narsimharao's period was a very clumsy effort. We had uh, bundling that uh, failed, then we were very hesitant to sell public sector shares. I think uh, Mr. Bajpai, Mr. Sinha and Mr. Arun Shori took the bold decision to do outright sale of some public sector enterprises which government had no business running. Yeah, they ran into some problems. There were even one or two cases. But I'm not getting into all that. The idea that this investment could mean government doing a strategic sale or an outright sale was a good idea, a bold idea. Uh, and I think they were able to get out of many chronically loss-making public sector enterprises in which government had no business to be in the first place. These are the three things that I will recall as the NDA's contribution, major contribution to 25 years of reforms.